how to make your own solar pool ionizer. Out on the internet there are quite a few brands of what's called a solar pool ionizer from Flotron and a couple of other companies. And the idea behind them is supposed to be that it's an ionic breeze for your pool and that it's going to clean your pool using ions. That isn't actually how they work. They are actually what's called a uh, colloidalizer and they work by taking the same principle that would apply to electroplating and the fact that you're in a water medium means that some of the very small particles of metal that are being pushed between by the electrons end up in the water and because algae and microorganisms have smaller cells than people do copper and silver are heavy enough metals that they have the same kind of effect on microorganisms that lead or arsenic would on humans but don't hurt humans because we need copper and such so how it works is basically we're going to pass a charge between two copper pipes and the two copper pipes are then going to basically lose particles of copper into the water now the versions from like Flotron and online include silver and that probably is a good thing but those are also $400 devices and what I'm going to show you how to build is about a $40 device so we have a Sunforce power sports charger which is meant for charging um, ATV and snowmobile batteries and it was about $35 and then we have two copper pipes picked up from the Home Depot, pre-cut. We could have gotten them cheaper if I'd bought in a long pipe and cut it in half, but I was lazy and these were easy. And what I've done is put a zip tie around one of them that's going to be the spacers. And then we're literally just going to zip tie the two together using the other zip tie as a spacer and this one to keep them together. the other one nip the ends so that it looks pretty or er, still gonna look ugly and now we have two copper tubes just a little bit apart and to one copper tube we're going to attach the negative and to one we're going to attach the positive making sure that we are not touching the the other one now when you're done you'd want to do a better job than this or you'd want to put a screw through and actually you know more or less waterproof that bit but that's all there is to it I mean, this is the entire circuit so we've got the solar charger we've got the two leads and we've got the two pipes and we just set it in the water and you don't even have to have that much in two inches will do you the more the better but um, you just want to keep the the terminals out of the water and that's it it's going to put bits of copper ionized, or not ionized colloidalized into the water and that colloidal copper is going to kill the algae and microorganisms which means that I don't have to use as much chlorine or bromine in the pool in order to keep the pool from smelling so I'm gonna save money on chemicals and I'm not going to have to swim in all of those chemicals when I'm done so uh, I will give you a link to the solar charger on Amazon you can pick up the copper pipes either on Amazon or at your local Home Depot like I said once you've got the thing built you can decide where you want to put the solar panel and you can decide where you want to put these leads I'm going to drop it in one of the holes along the side of the pool that is meant for uh, the chlorinizer um, just so that it's dipped in there and that way I can also check on it and I will more permanently attach those two terminals but that's all there is to it you now have lower pool bill um, and it's probably going to save you about $20 a month in chemicals
chemicals, depending on how, how big your pool is and how many chemicals you use and what your climate's like. Uh, I'm in Phoenix, so I have lots of solar power. Um, you could build one of these to run off of a 12 volt transformer. Um, just be careful that you don't have a very high wattage one because you are talking about electricity. The solar one, you know, you could touch those two terminals to your tongue and it wouldn't hurt because the solar and the solar is not putting out that many watts of power. So, um, yeah, you know, don't don't attach it to a car battery because then it would arc across those. Um, if you do apply more power, you'll see bubbles coming off of the off of the copper tubes. Um, but like I said, it works just fine like this. And when you come out and tap it in the morning, there'll be a lot of bubbles on it because that's just how it works. But yeah, basically you're splitting hydrogen and oxygen into uh, water into hydrogen and oxygen. So you're putting a little more oxygen in, but mostly what you're doing is putting the, um, the copper colloidals into the water.